Eight talented sons of former champions were able to train on the same surface their fathers played on. Among them, 11-year-old Fraser McDermott. My little bloke is a, is a footy tragic. He will watch it on his computer. We go to the games and for him to be able to do it, um, it's just incredible to come back to the footy club after so long and see it through your son's eyes. I don't think there's anything better. The former skipper admits to having some misgivings about returning to his old club after 25 years. Being in the media and where you have to sometimes speak um, not positively about a footy club, it makes me feel, I'm always nervous when I come back and think, you know, I've upset a couple of people. So it's, But when you get here and you see old faces, new faces, it, it is magnificent. It, it's always going to be home. You know, we've had bits and pieces to do with the club over the last 10 years of his life, but never have we come inside the footy club and never has he experienced what he's experienced uh, today. Marty. And that experience was also shared by the sons of Simon Tregenza and Scott Welsh. Their fathers, you know, very significant names around the Adelaide Footy Club, so it's really important that we re-engage with them and get them back to the footy club. Uh, Pikey's going to spend a bit of time with them today, Tex is going to spend a bit of time with them, just talking them through some of the, the habits and uh, the expectations that are required upon an, an elite sportsman. Apart from training, the lads were welcomed into the heart of the club, inspecting facilities and meeting Dom Pike and Taylor Walker. And that connection is probably for me more important than my connection. I'd love him to know that there's a part of him in the footy club um, and it's a place that he really admires, respects and understands. My daughter can't wait for the women's one either. I mean, he's having his day today and hopefully he, she has hers in uh, the not too distant future. Produced by AFC Media.